Hell yeah, about to play. What? Wait, what the hell? Ah, oh, come on, Steam. You got to be lying to me. Good thing. Good thing for this. Alright, so I just got back and I was like, I'm going to play me some LSPDFR. Nope. Steam tried to say otherwise. So it's a good thing, as you can see right here, I keep pretty much a backup copy of the game. Let's see. I'll get Audacity going. I'm going to use that for when I'm actually in the game. But anyway. You can see now, um, I click play, the dreaded update popped up, approximation time, two minutes, all that nonsense. You can see here I got my three copies. Um, kind of dated, the most recent one I have is that one, um, 08, 20, whatever. But here's the three things you have to back up. Um, the launcher, the EXE, and anything in the update folder. And uh, you know, from there, that's pretty much the entirety of it. Um, what we're going to end up doing is we'll probably skip until this finish loading. Fin finish loading until this finishes uh, downloading and I'll show you how to go about downgrading your version of LSPDFR because Rockstar I don't want you to be the man always telling me what version I'm gonna run like I want to play my single player experience alright so I went ahead and let it update of course it crashed um it said that you know every like script hook uh, V by Axel and Blade that actually crashed so what we're actually going to do is we're just going to drag and drop these necessary files to get it back to the version that we want. Because Rockstar doesn't know how I want to play my game. And we're not moving from an SSD at all. We're actually moving from a horribly so Seagate backup drive. So we'll cut till this is complete and then we'll launch the game. And that kind of concludes how to revert your game and how to back it up and things like that. And I didn't even run the latest version test anything out um i just saw an update was you know released today again always pay attention to what day it is when i release these types of videos because they could be time sensitive in nature this type of downgrading might not work in the future but as for right now it still works so with that in mind um it's important to always back up your game you see this is actually a rather um, old backup at this point if you go by standards of times this is almost a month old but you know this is a tried and true I'm not using rage hook 24 um, I might be using 22 I'm kind of out of the loop guys you know extremely busy lately and we'll see if it works we'll jump back in once we're done doing this hellaciously slow external hard drive move all right so that just concluded um, I think I'm running not sure what version I'm actually running. But you know, we'll right click, we'll make sure to run this in administrator. And we'll see how it loads up. I know it, it led to a fatal crash. The game wouldn't even start up using the old software stuff. So we'll see how it goes. And as you see, because I replaced these, it only checks to see if they're updated one time. And um, later on, you can delete any one of these and do a, a you know verify integrity catch, and it'll kind of re-download it. Let me full screen it. And sure enough, there we go, guys. It's pretty much a successful downgrade. Um, you know, for Grand Theft Auto 5. Always make sure it, don't, it doesn't take that many files. I showed you which files that it took to back up. Um, save them anywhere on your computer and literally once it upgrades you can see now I'm running 393.2 and you know I won't be able to go online with this version of the game but at least I'll be able to enjoy my single player experience which is kind of what Grand Theft Auto 5 has shifted to for me and I hope this tutorial helped you guys um, if this if you didn't back it up fast enough from your previous save um, maybe you can find the files online. I'm not going to be uploading the old versions, but hopefully for future iterations, you'll you'll pay attention to this type of video because I think this is the second or third time I've made a video like this. And even if it just helps a couple of you guys, I'll keep pushing this type of video. And I'll see y'all at the next patrol.